Hey coin collectors and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at some coins from the United Kingdom. The 1975 coinage of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And this comes in, as you can see, like a cardboard pack. And inside that pack, in hard plastic, which you have to break open if you want to look at the coins like this, are these coins. Now, we've talked before about how when you buy these um, proof set or brilliant uncirculated set coins, sometimes they have a bit of a film on them or, or get, it, get some colorization from uh, being inside the packaging. So we'll see some of that today too. All right, let's see if we can get this stabilized and then start looking. Let's start with this one right in the center, which is kind of a weird one. Some of the proof coin sets and mint sets put in these what they call tokens. And this is the token from the 1975 set. It is uh, the same bronze that's in um, the half new penny and new penny and uh, two new penny coins. And you can see that on the back it says Royal Mint has a, uh, this is the Royal Mint here, a engraving of it. This is a crowned shield and you see that we have two lion sapon, one lion rampon, and the harp of Northern Ireland. So these two are for England or England and Wales. Uh, this is for Scotland. This is for Northern Ireland. And at the bottom it says Royal Mint. And so they only have about 100,000 of these because that's how many of these sets they made. But people don't really collect them that much, so they're not extremely valuable. Uh, next, let's start with the smallest. And there it is right there. And um, when I say the smallest, how small is it? Well, if we look at it compared to the 50, the old large 50 pence coin, you see that it is incredibly smaller. So what is it? Well, it's the 1975 half penny coin. Let's get it set just right there. There we go. And you can see that it says DG Reg here. By the grace of God, Queen, FD, Defender of the Faith, 1975. And over on this side, it says Elizabeth II. And this one, when we talk about colorization, this is, you can actually see kind of the film on there and a little, it's a little bit mottled in M-O-T-T-L-E-D, like it kind of spotty, I guess you could call it. it. has a outer beaded rim. This is the Arnold Machen second portrait of Queen Elizabeth. Um, and it has the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara at the top. It has a smooth edge. If we tip it over on the back, we see the crowned one half. So it says new penny at the top and one half down here. And of course, the new penny comes from the decimalization, uh, which occurred essentially from 1968 to 1971, but was fully uh, going on in 1971, and that's when these coins came out. They made about 200 million of the general circulating coins and about 100,000 of these brilliant uncirculated mint sets. And that's just, that's a nice one. This is a Christopher Ironside um, engraving on the back. And uh, this is the crown of Henry IV, who was the founder of the House of Tudor. Next up, we have the one new penny coin. And some of you remember the old uh, English penny coins, uh, and they were huge. Well, this is much smaller. And this came out again in 1971. Again, we have the Arnold Machen portrait on the front. No initials for the Arnold Machen portrait. Um, and it says the, all the same uh, information, the beaded outer rim. Again, smooth edge. Again, it's a bronze coin. And when we flip it, we see that it says new penny on this one and also. And then it says one underneath. And this is a crowned portcullis, um, which is a gate which can be raised and lowered. This is actually the symbol of the Houses of Parliament now. And you can see the, the dotted or beaded outer rim. In general circulation, they made 221 Point six million of the one new pennies, which first came out in 1971. 
this actually is still usable. You, it's not has not been um, demonetized, and I should say that the uh, half new penny was demonetized. So they took this out of circulation in 1994 in December. I mean 1984, December 31st, 1984. They took this out of circulation. The one new penny, though, is still uh, can be used. What's next is the two new penny, and again you can see how. This, this one is kind of spotted also. If we tip it up, we see that it's just brilliant in, in the sense that it's uh, got a nice shine to it, but it just has a little bit of a coating on it from the plastic which they encased it in. And they don't quite do it the same way anymore because I think a lot of collectors would like to take them out of the casing, but they just don't get great coins when they do. Again, it's a bronze coin. When we get to the back of this one, we see it's slightly different. Again. Arnold Machen engraved the front, Christopher Ironside engraved the back, and this one says something interesting on it. It says, Ick over here in Dean, new pence at the top. So this we've gone from pennies to pence by the time we get to the two. Ick Dean means I serve, which is the badge of the Prince of Wales. We have two, three, I'm sorry, ostrich plumes going through the crown uh, or coronet of cross pate and fleur de lis. So we see these, the crosses and the fleur de lis. And this is the, um, the badge of the Prince of Wales. Flip it over, of course it's the same. Next up, we have, we move up to the five new pence. And the five new pence, as you can tell, is a different material, or hopefully you can tell. Let's put it right next to the yeah, so see now you can really tell the difference. So the five new pence is a copper nickel coin, weighs 5.65 grams, and the five new pence, the, the, the new five new pence are way smaller than this one. This is a um, 23.59 uh, centimeters in diameter. Um, again, the Arnold Machen first portrait, if we tip it up, we see we have a milled edge on this one, and then when we get to the back, we see this five new pence, and this, of course, is a Scottish thistle here, which is crowned, um, and this is the badge of Scotland. Again, Christopher Ironside, who did really all of the, or pretty much all of the uh, smaller value um, engravings when they, Britain moved to um, decimalization, did this coin too, and we see the five at the bottom. I'm going to just leave that there and show you this, of course, is the 10 new pence from 1975. And we see that if we look at it, it is, again, the Arnold Machen, again, the beaded outer rim, again, the milled rim or edge. And then this is uh, maybe his best or certainly one of my favorite of the Christopher Ironside engravings, and that is the lion standing up and this is the crest of England. It's a lion passant gardon royally crowned and if we look at it we can actually see the crown on the top and when you look at these coins in general circulation what you want to do is look at these beads around the top and see if you can see them. You want to see if you can see the tufts of hair. Of course you're going to see those in this um, brilliant uncirculated collection but you may not see these in general circulation. Now again, this one was taken out of circulation in 1993 on June 30th when they came in with the 10 pence coin. They went from new to 10, and so they would just say, the new ones just say T-E-N here. Um, and then of course they made them even smaller. So this is the 10 new pence, 1975. And finally, we get the 50. And this is the one that they did not make uh, in general circulation at all. So many people write to us and say, look, um, why can't I find any of the old 50 uh, new pence from 1975? And that's because they did not generally circulate them. You had to buy a mint set to get them. So this coin is worth, sometimes it's, it's worth between six and eight dollars US just by itself. It's the, uh, it's copper nickel again, but it is a, you can see that it is a different shaped coin. It's an equilateral curved heptagon or a seven-sided coin. And if we tip it up, if we can tip it up, 
we see that it has these smooth kind of the edges has the seven sides and they kind of round over as you go again the Arnold Machen first portrait which is just this is a beautiful coin uh, and this we're not seeing for some reason the copper uh, nickel does not get the colorization or coloration that the other coins do but then we look at the back and we see a little bit of browning or coloring on the edges here and this says new pence at the top and this of course is an image of Britannia holding the trident and the olive branch, a lion at her feet, and the Union Jack shield of England or Great Britain. And down here at the bottom it says 50. So this is a 50 new pence coin. They only made 100,000 of these. It's not really rare um, uh, in the sense that they're easy enough to get, but you might have to pay between six and ten dollars for it. This coin um, was demonetized on February 28, 1998. So there's the 50 new pence. Oh, uh, people say, well, where's the 20? Well, the 20 didn't come out. The 20 pence coin didn't come out until 1982. So in 1975, they didn't have it. There's the 50. There's the 10. There's the five. There's the two. And you notice the two is actually a little bit bigger than the five. And they're all new pence still in 1975. There is the one penny, and then there is the half. Now, some people say, well, what does a regular circulated uh, coin look like from this time? And here's a regularly circulated half new penny here. And let's, let's put them both together. And you can see that it gets a lot of kind of browning, and it dulls it a bit. And this one is absolutely no value this half new penny from even though it's a used one uh, from 1975 because they made uh, 200 million of them I think maybe 10 to 12 cents in this shape uh, and mainly because it was demonetized or taken out of circulation in 1984 so 10 to 12 cents for this one um, this one here in some cases may be worth almost almost a dollar all right, that's all we have from the DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. Thanks for watching our channel, and we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and put any comments you have in the comments section.